So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone is missing apps instead of the App Store. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons. The number one reason why this may end up happening is because your particular iPhone may not be supported or suitable for that version of that application. So if I'm on like iOS 12 and iOS 17 is out right now, you might see that those particular games or apps may not be available for you because you're on a super outdated phone. You might also be able to see those applications, like if I wanted to download, you know, whatever this is, Minecraft, well, I might be able to see this app, but I may not even be able to purchase it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure those particular applications are available on your particular device and to make sure you're up to date as long as you're kind of supported on like one of the you know, last few versions of software, you should be good. If you're more than like two versions behind, you might see that some of the applications are missing on your particular iPhone. That could also mean that some of those apps are actually not available in your region. So if you're in an area where sometimes applications may not be suitable, if there's only an application available in certain countries, that could also mean that your country banned that app and you might not be able to see it or the developers haven't released that application inside of your particular country. So from that case, you're probably going to have to just wait it out or you know change your region to a different country and then you might be able to access it there. Now you may also have parental controls you know, on, on your particular iPhone. So if you do have some sort of parental controls, like if you have family sharing with parental controls built in, well, what could end up happening is with your particular device, those particular you know, applications may be missing from your app store because they are turned off on your particular device. So you may just want to go and see if you have any parental locks on your particular iPhone. That way you can go through and kind of just make sure nothing's causing, you know, nothing's blocked there. Finally, if nothing else is working, you can try updating your iPhone or just restarting it. But those are just a few different ways to fix the problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.